Boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Robert's Report Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, with everything going on in the world, um, there's no, been no sports. Um, there's been a couple WWE shows I haven't done any reviews on. Um, everything's been taped or just hasn't been felt like doing reviews or anything. NASCAR is back May 17th. Darlington. Oh, gotta love it. We have seven races in ten days. Four cup races, two Xfinity races, and a truck race. No qualifying, no practice. It is going to be weird as heck. No fans. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things went in place here, you know. Everybody has to wear a mask. It's just going to be a lot of unique things behind the scenes. With no qualifying, they're kind of doing draw for different parts of the field. Kyle Larson has been fired, suspended indefinitely by NASCAR, fired by Chip Ganassi. So a lot has gone on. What I'm going to do, we're running down the kind of the preview of Darlington, which has two cup races and an Xfinity race. And then next week, we'll have the kind of preview of Charlotte and the two cup races, Xfinity and truck race. Um, so we got on May 17th, we have the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400, 400 mile race at Darlington, 400. 400 miles, 293 laps, three stages, 90, 90, and 113. On Tuesday the 20th, we have a 500 kil mile, kil, kilometer race, which is 310 miles, 227 laps, 68, 68, 91. Now, the Xfinity race, we have the 19th, which is Monday, on the Xfinity Series 200, 200 miles, 147 laps, three stages, 44, 44, and 50, 59. The last Xfinity Series race at Darlington was 04. Um, Darlington may have th at least three races this year. Darlington is about two hours from Charlotte, an hour and 52 minutes. Charlotte is the hub of NASCAR, as we all know. Some other tracks that they can possibly go to would be Martinsville's two hours and 15 minutes from Charlotte. Bristol is 3 hours and 9 minutes. North Wilkesboro is an hour and 20 minutes. Can you imagine? NASCAR. Pa repaving North Wilkesboro. Right now you don't need fan amenities. Throw some fresh pavement down. Do a race at North of Wilkesboro with no fans. Holy cow, would that not be freaking amazing. Hopefully they do it. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Truck series, Xfinity series, Cup series. You're talking an hour and 20 minutes from Dick, from Charlotte. That'd be easy. All right, as we look at the season. Again, the season's been on pause for two months. So right now, we have... Three drivers locked into the, into the championship for the Cup Series. We have Denny Hamlin with one win, Joey Logano with two wins, Alex Bowman with three wins, with one with a win. <laughs> so Hamlin one win, Logano one win, Alex Bowman one win. Now, Kyle Larson was sitting eighth in points. He's been suspended indefinitely and fired by Chip Ganassi. Now, Matt Kinsett was replacing. Kyle Larson was given a waiver, so if that 42 team can get in the top 30 points and win a race, they can be in the playoffs. Now, Ryan Newman, we all know he got hurt at Daytona. He's missed three races. He got a waiver, which I understand his waiver. I don't understand Kyle Larson with Mike Kinnon's waiver. So if they can be in the top 30 points and win a race, they can be in the playoffs. Whew. A lot can, a lot can happen this year. In the Xfinity Series, uh, we've had four races so far. Noah Gregson, Chase Briscoe, Harrison Burton, Brandon Jones all locked their way in. In the Truck Series, we've had two races. Grant Invinger has already locked himself in. Now, on the picks here on Robert Sports Show. Truck Series, I'm 2-0. Grant Invinger, Kyle Busch. Boom, boom, 2-0. Um, as for the Xfinity Series, I'm 1-3. I picked Grant Invinger, Daytona. Missed the other three. And then the Cup Series, I'm 0-4. <laughs> Not did well in the Cup Series. Um, so, Darlington 
is an intermediate track. In the last 13 intermediate track races for NASCAR, we've had nine different winners. Kevin Harvick has averaged a 7.9 with one win. Logano has averaged 9.08 with two wins. Truex 9.23 with two wins. Kyle Busch 9.54 with one win. Alex Bowman 10.23 with one win. Now, the last three races at Darlington, Lady in Black. Kyle Busch has averaged a fourth. Eric Jones 4.67 with a win. Kurt Busch 5.33 with a win. Kevin Harvick 5.6. Brad Kozlowski 7.0 with a win. The other win was done by Denny Hamlin. Now, the Xfinity Series in the last 12 intermediate tracks. Michael Annette 8.0. Noah Gregson 9.2, Ross Chastain 9.7, Chase Briscoe a tenth. So with there being two cup races, I'm going to pick four drivers who I think will win either one or both of those cup races. For the Xfinity race, do like I've always done, I'm picking three drivers. I'm going to combine it all in one video here. So for the two cup races on Monday, the, on Sunday the 17th and Tuesday the 19th, or tw sorry, Tuesday the 20th. 20th? Wednesday. That's a Wednesday night. Wednesday night. 20th. Yeah, 17th. Yeah. My four picks to win the two races at Darlington. And that's the thing now. Because we've been off for two months, I don't think, I think it's going to be one of the top tier drivers. It's going to be one of the veterans. I don't think it's going to be a young gun. I think it's going to be somebody who's done well at Darlington in the past. Obviously Kyle Busch. I think he's, he's got to be one of my top picks. He's won at Darlington. He's finished average of fourth place in the last three races. Second, Kevin Harvick. Uh, obviously one of the great intermediate track drivers. Great at Darlington. Brad Kozlowski, former Darlington winner. Joey Logano. Can he win three straight cup races? Uh, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Um, but hey, you know what? We'll see what happens. Darlington, two races. That's just awesome. Hopefully it all goes well at Darlington. And the two Charlotte races next week can go well. Maybe we get NASCAR back. We have a great season. But as NASCAR is hopefully back, as sports start coming back here in 2020, um, hopefully everyone is healthy due to everything going on in the world. I know it's affected everyone in different ways. Um, hopefully everyone is doing great. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports show and content.